So with soaring fireworks, the 4th of July is a time that we honor our freedom and our patriotism, but the sky could be dark in some places because of firework shortages, of course, due to supply, supply chain issues, of course. But that is not the case for the Sousas, who are often called the first family of fireworks. Their explosive displays arrived just in time, and Carter Evans has followed the Sousa family for years, and he shows us how they're ready for an explosive, <laughs> that's a good piece of writing there, an explosive show this holiday. <laughs> From the rocket's red glare to bombs bursting in air. For more than a century, the Sousa family has been creating magic in the sky. And on the cracked earth, deep in the California desert, Paul Sousa builds a pop-up test site to prepare for the 4th of July celebrations. This little cup here is the lift charge. The fifth generation show producer is gathering all the necessary information. Three, two, one, fire. For his Independence Day extravaganzas. The way we figure it out is by stop watching it. That burst time, uh, the duration of the effect, and as well as the height of the effect. Beautiful purple, green combo, gold. Fourth of July is usually a year in the making. It's a lot of data just to blow a bunch of stuff up. You're right. I mean, I think we're all just giddy like teenagers to do this tonight. <laughs> the Sousas are the firing force behind some of the world's biggest celebrations. Olympic opening ceremonies, Super Bowl. The 75th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. 25,000 explosives specially designed to withstand San Francisco's win created an unforgettable spectacle. What if it didn't work perfectly exactly the way you wanted? Nobody else was gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> it still goes it's boom. It's still gonna go boom and, and make people happy. We're good? Paul's dad, Jim Souza, is CEO of Pyro Spectaculars. Good to go. He's been a rocket man okay. since the age of 12. We're into that countdown and we're all checking controls. All right, here we are, we're hot. And then you get the goosebumps like I'm getting now in the 10, 9, 8, and then that the first shell goes up in the air, and yes, that's the magic. Restrictions to public events during the COVID-19 pandemic hit fireworks companies hard. This year, Sousa's facing supply chain disruptions from shipping to trucking. But now he's ready. Business is booming. It's back. Everybody wants to celebrate. This is the, the Sousa family recipe or cookbook. The cookbook contains their original formulas for fireworks. In the early days, the family made their own. Sparks first began flying when Manuel de Souza immigrated from Portugal in the early 1900s. My great-grandfather was lighting the fuses by hand with a, with a hand torch. A dynasty was born as each successive generation joined the family business, but it was dangerous work. He was out uh, searching the grounds and found what we call a dud, a shell that came down to the ground and didn't explode. And it went off and blew his arm off. Their arsenal of explosives is stored in 14 underground bunkers. When we're walking through the bunkers, we have a great respect for this product because it is dangerous and it's life-threatening. With the data from the desert, storyboards are produced. Then music and effects are synced to simulations. The results are mesmerizing and emotional. There's moments where I'm going to really hit it hard and kind of the audience is going to move back and kind of be shocked and then we're going to bring it really low, almost bringing the audience to tears. The Sousa family pioneered the pyro musical we've all come to expect on the 4th of July. Sousa says this year the inspiration behind each Independence Day celebration feels especially meaningful. So while people are watching your shows celebrating on the 4th of July, what do you hope they're thinking? I hope everybody's recognizing our freedom. Then if you look in contrast with what's going on the other side of the world in Ukraine, they're fighting for their democracy like we did over 250 years ago. They're fighting for their freedom and we shouldn't take freedom for granted. A year of planning goes into every 30 minute show, but the memories can last a lifetime. And maybe one time with everybody on different sides of the fences here, come together with family and friends, look to the skies, I'll do the rest for you, and celebrate an American tradition. 
for CBS News, I'm Carter Evans. I like how Paul says, you know, if it didn't go off like the way that they planned, <laughs> no you would still know. be like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I was thinking, you know, in this age of sort of technological entertainment, they got these drone shows and lasers. Nothing beats old school fireworks, yeah. right? But I always feel like when you see fireworks, it's like. Yeah, okay. They look like fireworks. Oh, I mean, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, easy. Oh, That's right. No, because it's a multi-sensory experience, yeah. especially when all the stuff like falls on you. <laughs> you know? like, oh, that was a good show. <laughs> the kids love it. The kids love it. I, I, this adult loves them uh, and has always loved them. Right. And the only I want to be here one year for the New York one. I have not. You've never been here. Never been for the New York. Oh. I mean, the DC one is right. awesome. But haven't seen the, the New York one. Okay. All right, one day. Ed. Make a date. Make a date. You're here today, bro. Well, I gotta, I mean, I'm going home. I'm going oh. on the train.